Form Next 2022 would not be complete without a visit to the Dimension booth. Oh, thank you, Joel. It's so good to have you back. So good to see you. This is Pia. And Pia, could you let the audience know, as a refresher, who Dimension is and what you do? Sure, of course. So we are Dimension and we do connected post-processing solutions for 3D printed polymer parts. So we do cleaning, surfacing and coloring of 3D printed parts. It's always a pleasure coming to this booth because there's a lot of really cool things to see that are post-processed and, and, and various colors from the things that you're able to do. But this intrigued me and I'm really happy that we're talking about this. So in front of us is a table of polypropylene printed parts. That's a lot of P's, isn't it? Polypropylene That's printed true. parts. Now polypropylene is usually, correct me if I'm wrong, the bane of many's existence when 3D printing, because it's not the easiest. On the consumer side to 3D print, these are industrial polypropylene parts. Yep. But they're st it's still difficult, right? It is, it is. It's very hard to print. And you have to believe me, it's even harder to post-process those parts because they are so <laughs> resistant to chemicals and very difficult uh, to treat them with. But we managed it. you've managed it we now managed with this it. machine. So all of these parts here can be post-processed using Dimensions PowerFuse S. Even is that right? Piece. Yep. That's a lot of piece. <laughs> That's a lot of piece. <laughs> but polypropylene, the, the mechanical properties are great because as a material, it's it, it, it has some flex and some give to it, but it's chemically resistant. It's it's usually it can be watertight. It can. Uh, it's yep. it's just it's it's a it's a wonderful material. Usually it's injection molded. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. So that's a. I mean, it's a, it's one of the most widely used materials in the world, right? Right. In traditional the, manufacturing. Yeah. A lot of live hinges in yeah. things are yeah. polypropylene, but, but dimension. Not yet with AM. Not, it's getting there. <laughs> not yet. Not not easily. True. But we're getting there. But now polypropylene, obviously, like you said, because it's it's resistant to these these chemicals, it's really hard to post-process. So you figured that out, and I'm holding a post-processed part. It looks amazing. This Thank is polypropylene. You. It is, it is. Look, this is how it came out of the printer. So very rough. Okay, so yeah, and it, you it could has never a... like put liquids in it or something like this. No, but with no. This one here, sealed surface, um, black, gas tight, water tight, you can definitely work with that. So with a surface like this, with a surface that's rough, anytime you're gonna add something to it that's a liquid, you, it, it, it's because, because it's not be smooth, it could be absorbed yeah. a bit, right? Yeah. So when you smooth it, this is now, we could, we could cover this end and add liquid and be just totally fine with it. You could definitely do. And I can, tell, I can show you even more cool stuff. So what is so, this? So the mechanical properties are by far improved with our process. So this is the raw part. Exactly like this. Raw polypropylene. Yep. Okay. Is this gonna? And this is the smooth one. And let, let's let's do a little test. Okay. So, so. So you can try to break it. Really? Yeah. Sure. You can break it. You I don't can really it. break it. Do it. Yes. Okay. You did it. Okay, it did break. It There's did a certain break. radius it can bend yeah. to, and it's then flexible, it fails it catastrophically. Yeah. Okay. Now try this. I let's see what happens, but it should be harder. Oh. Right. Oh. See? So wait, this has just been smoothed, right? That's it, not colored, just smooth. But it changes the properties of the polypropylene. It does. Okay, I have to ask because this this has thickness. Mm -hmm. So the smoothing, is is it just a surface application or does it go through chemically to all of the material? It's primarily on the surface. So then it's just on the surface. If we were to cut this, we would see raw material inside. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Yep. But just treating the surface still gives it a very different experience when, when bending it. And that means that polypropylene now, 3D printed polypropylene, once it's smoothed with, smoothed with the dimension process, has more functionality. You can do more things with Definitely. it. Because like, this is a... It's like a, an arm brace. It's an yeah. arm brace, I'm yeah. trying to figure out. Yeah. There we go, there we go, yeah. So something like this, you need a brace that, that isn't going to break if it bends yep, just a little bit. Yeah, the friction is, uh, is definitely beneficial, yeah. What about that? You showed me that earlier and I'd, mm -hmm. like to, I'd like to talk about this. This is a hand sanitizer that we designed actually. Oh, Do you want please? to sanitize yes, your hands? Yes, please, please. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. And I mean, there's nothing inside that little vase, right? It's just a PP and you could totally fill water in it and that's it. So most of the times when you think of something like this, you have a container inside holding Probably. the liquid. Yeah. Usually, yeah, right? You have a decorative thing 
and the and container have, inside holds the liquid and yeah. you know you have an insert and that kind of thing. But with this, you said this is actually the polypropylene that has been smoothed. Yep, and it's printed out of one part, just this part. One part, so it's watertight and you've added hand sanitizer inside the part and you put a cap on and now you have a That's functional it. part yeah. without an insert. That's so it. we're using less material to make a product at this point. Oh, that's cool. Okay, show me more stuff. <laughs> what else do we get? We've, we've got this. Oh, we got this. I mean, that's pretty cool as well, especially if you have applications where you put liquid in, like this container probably. Um, so the material, like it comes out of the printer, looks like this. This is white. this is white polypropylene, 3D printed. Yep. Okay. And then if we smooth the part, it gets translucent which is obviously beneficial for oh. a lot of applications because you can just see what it's, what's inside, right? Right, so then... When I first saw it, I couldn't believe it. Like, Fabi showed me this and I was like, what? It looked like this? I can't believe it. So this it. is, there's, the only thing done to this is yes, smoothing. Is, that's it. What's one more cool thing we can see? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay. But I Here, think we can, we can explore this together. So it looks, it's got HP's logo, so probably True. printed with an HP machine. Yep. And it looks to be some sort of living hinge made in polypropylene. Look at that. No, but actually, I don't, I don't know for what it is exactly. I think it's something with cables. What is it? Mm -hmm. Cable tie. It's a cable tie. Yep. Yeah, cable it tie. Is. So you do need that flexibility, but that's a, it helps. Th but it's really cool. So polypropylene used, a 3D printed polypropylene now as a living hinge can be smoothed and made, be made more resilient and more robust so it can withstand the actual hinging action. That we can say for sure. Oh, that's really cool. See, it's stuff like this why I love coming to see you at Form Next because you, you have a wonderful booth, it's bright, it's shiny, there's all sorts of really fun colors, but when we dive deep and we just stand in front of this table, we get to see amazing tech. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, well, Pia, we've got a lot of form next to cover I, and you've got a lot of booth to, to explain to people, but turn to the audience right there and just let them know where they can go find more information about Dimension. You can find more information on dimension.com or our LinkedIn profile or our Instagram profile or just here at the booth, D51, for the next days. That's right. If you, if you could travel through time, and come back to Form Next because it's airing ah. a little bit later. See, you could come to this booth, but oh, you but come because back next year or next year, but because time travel probably won't be invented by then, we'll put some links in the description you can follow. <laughs> Very good, Pia. <laughs>